Okay, so after you consider those elements, right, then you want to move to textualization, right? So the first thing in a critical writing project, uh, and especially at the proposal level, is contextualization. What's the problem? Define what your problem is, where it's located. Then you want to move to the text. Always lead with the problem, don't lead with the text. So if you're doing Du Bois, for example, you have to be able to say, well, okay, uh, I'm going to use the Du Bois text to explore this problem. Well, what's the Du Bois text about? Quick summary, two to three um, sentences. How is it a useful intervention and application to the problem that you're looking at, gen ed IH? So uh, you want to answer that question. Then you want to review the discourses of souls of black folk, right? I just listed a few here. Um, right, so you choose one, right? So I'm going to use the Du Bois text to explore uh, this problematic. Uh, I'm going to use a specific uh, topic in the Du Bois text, right? And then you want to try to, you know, really reduce the text down to, uh, you know, a sustainable or workable level of evidence. Three chapters at most. One chapter would be great. One passage from one chapter, even better, right? So the, the less amount of evidence that you are working with, right? Uh, I know this seems counterintuitive, but trust me on this. The less amount of evidence that you can that you're working with. If you can dynamize evidence down to a very condensed form, that allows you to conduct critical thinking. The more time you spend collecting evidence um, and putting it together, that's coverage. That's going to lead to book reporting and summarizing. So working with a minimal amount of topic, a minimal amount of text, is always your best way to go. It's really the crucial aspect to critical thinking. Um, and if you do that, you know, you'll, you'll be good. Uh, you'll, you'll be on your way. Okay. Uh, then starting with uh, genreization, right? Uh, essay intertextual dialogic or gaming treatment. So you want to think about, you know, what does each genre do? What are the advantages and disadvantages of each? You want to you know, make a justify why you chose one and, and why. Just don't say, I chose gaming treatment because I think it's easy and I like video games. No. You have to make an argument that a gaming treatment, for example, or an intertextual dialogic can do the job, can deliver critical thinking, not just book report, not just entertainment. 